All right, two basic hacks for the Daisy 340, same day fixes, and they've been heavily tested. And we're gonna start out by looking at the Bic lighter and bringing plenty of light. Yeah, there's gonna be some shadows, but it's very small parts, and so I need to really get the light on. Okay, so with the Bic lighter, there's actually a universe of hacks you can do with this, and there's two springs in here that you can get after. There's the flint spring and what they call the fork spring. So now we're getting into the Bic technology here. And here they are, undamaged. I got them out, and I was going to link two disassembly videos for it, but they're really rough. And I want to make sure that you get both of these springs, especially that fork spring, unharmed. So, all right, so here is the lighter I actually took apart. And let's go over the parts now real quick before we walk through that. So you have the hood, the wheel, um, spark wheel. Okay, the hood, spark wheel. And then a lot of people just consider that like the button, the gas button. But this is actually called a fork. There's a plate underneath. And so let's go over the parts. So there's your hood. There is what they call the fork. The big people call it that. And then the spark wheel. Okay. And so what we do is you get some small, uh, these are jaw lockers, but small, you know, needle nose or something like that. These work. And so I'm going to target the areas and then I'll just walk through it real quick. So we get the hood off, we go to the spark wheel, and then I'll show you how to get the fork plate out. Okay, so with this, with the hood, we just come in right through that hole right there. You just grab it and pull it off. Okay, and then for the spark wheel, you also just, you'll be exposed and you just grab it again and wiggle it side to side and this pops right off and out comes a nice pristine flint spring. Okay, and we do need a piece of that. And then after that, we look at it like this and then there is a fork, they call that the fork plate right there. And so the way you handle that, you take your pliers, and you just take these prongs on the side and bend them back, bend them back, and then that pops right out, and you get your nice, pristine fork spring. I mean, you're going to need that. All right, so let's start with the first hack that most people are interested in asking for is, let's go over this scenario here. You let a friend borrow a gun, and he screws it up, or he decides to take it apart, doesn't tell you, and... There's two small springs that can get lost that are vital. One is for your lock. It's um, the toggle on this side, okay, right there. So your uh, slide lock, it's your release. So your re uh, release button for your slide lock right there. It puts tension on it, so it locks it on. And then the all important, people call it the mag release, mag release, mag lock. But they lose the spring in there, and they many times will take apart a gun and not know really what's what, and they lose parts. So we'll just say that you loaned it to a friend and he, he kind of messed with it. So let's start with the most asked for repair job, which is fixing that. Okay, so we start by ejecting the magazine. And we'll go ahead and take those screws off. Just loosen there. They're going to they're gonna be a little tighter than that. I have them nice and loose for the video. But... Yeah, so those come off just one side. You don't need to take the panel off the other side, just the safety side. So the safety side. Okay, and then that comes off. All right, and then we're ready to go and get it in really close. The style of the channel for the fix videos is watch repairman. That's what I was told to do by my local gun shop. So, all right, so that should be close enough. Okay, so the magazine's ejected. The panel, panel's off on the side with the safety. And then this comes out. Okay, and then see that little spring in there? Okay. Now your OEM, this is the hack spring. The OEM is basically right on 5 sixteenths. It's about 5 sixteenths of an inch. For cutting this piece off the flint spring, you have some play there. You can go 5 sixteenths to 3 eighths. Again, 5 sixteenths to 3 eighths, you have some play. But 5 sixteenths is right on the head, and it does work with the... Uh, with this big spring okay so let's take a look at how this is engineered so you have that groove right there all right and try to put the side of the spring that is not the cut side because that's a very smooth side so you want to take a piece of the bottom or the either side but you want that if you can see that you can see that nice rounded edge 
on the right side of that toggle, okay? And then you have a gap here. And that gap is where you're gonna try to catch that on a catch point right here. And you can see that right as day, you see that catch point? If you need me to point it out, I will point it out real quick. The catch point is right there. It's right here, that catch point. All right, so stick with me. I know we're ultra close up here, but these are very, this is a very small fix. So what you do is you'd set it up on his butt, okay, and get a finger on the other side, pinky, one of your fingers, okay, and then you put it in like this, or you'll drop that spring all over the place. You're going to try to hit that gap on that catch point, and you can do it. You just got to show some patience. Hit that gap. There we go. Okay, now see this? Okay. And we turn to a better angle. Okay, got it. All right, so let me back out. I know that's it. I know some people don't understand why I do the watch repairman style, but the boys at the local gun shop said a lot of the fixed videos are too far. So sometimes I get in pretty tight. So, all right. So now that's fixed, and you just put your, your screws back in, of course. And let's go ahead and do that, at least loosely, so that this thing does not pop out when I'm doing the second hack. Okay, so that's done. Now, how do you test it? Okay, so the first initial uh, test I did on the spring hack is 100 toggles and then two weeks in there static testing and there's no problems so okay so that is the hack spring and it works good that one is basically dead on at 5 sixteenths so let's look inside okay and so that now you see that let's see I'm gonna have to really zoom in there so bear with me guys there now there is a block right there now look at that now watch this that is what holds and releases it just, but what's more important, I like calling it the um, magazine lock, okay? Because it has to have just enough spunk for that little block you see there to catch on that magazine, okay? Right there, okay? So that's done. Now, the other simple one is very simple. Now we're going to use your fork spring from the BIC, and we're going to get into what happens sometimes is people lose the spring in your slide lock system, okay? So I just open that, that up, and then we're going to get this out. Okay, and okay, all right. Now, the Daisy engineers are really smart. They made a spring that actually grabs it at the end, and so it doesn't come off. Okay, but let's say it got lost. Okay, so now we take your fork spring, and the thing you have to understand is this is the nature of the hack, it's not made for it. So, what can happen if you turn it upside down, it'll come off in your hand. So, the Daisy engineers made sure it's for their OEM to make sure it's more of a cone shape and it grabs. Now this does work. The thing is you always have to handle it with spring up though, and it does always work. So, okay, so you or your friend lost that and you need to have that to make sure that your slide lock here is has tension on it and keeps your slide in place. So you come in through that gap. I'll try to stay out here. I don't think I need to zoom in for right there, but um, yeah, hold on, let me see. Maybe get a little closer. Okay, so it's about right there. Okay, you can see the hole right there. So remember, always spring up when you do that hack. Okay, so then you put it in there. Okay, and then watch the other side. Okay, it came through. So good. So, okay. Okay, so just make sure that you're careful with this. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now, okay, so I pushed it through. I just need to push a little harder. The tension on that on that spring is a little bit more. So an engineer friend of mine had me do static testing. And so I left it in there for four months. And so there's a good angle. So there's the button. And here, now watch. Okay, now watch, see that? Okay, here, let me zoom, zoom in a little bit. This is gonna be some really tight footage in this video. See that? Okay, that shows it's got good tension. It's a little more tension than the OEM, but it locks on there. Okay, and that's good. Okay, so there are your hacks, and they've all been heavily tested. So replacement spring, the fork spring from a big lighter, takes the place of your OEM uh, if you lose that. Okay, takes the place of your OEM for your uh, slide release button. And then the flint spring at 5 sixteenths to 3 eighths takes the place of your OEM in your uh, toggle here in your magazine release and it is solid 
Okay, well, thank you, and I think that's going to do it. Let's go ahead and stop.